Good afternoon, welcome to Money Guys. We will discuss current affairs of 23rd November. And first, we will discuss already questions. Okay. First statement, consider the following statements. What Park Street? Right. The Park Street is situated between Sri Indian Strait of Tamil Nadu and Jaffna district of Sri Lanka. Yes. It connects the Bay of Bengal with the Park Bay of Sri Lanka. Yes. Both the statements are correct with respect to Park Street. Park Bay, the Park Street, it is spread between Indian, Indian State and here is the region of Park Street. This is called as Park Street. So both the statements are correct. Just a second. Next question. With reference to olive red related turtles, olive red turtles they are primarily found in the in Gohirmatha Marine Sanctuary in Odisha, Gandam district. These are smallest and most abundant of all sisters, uh, smallest and most abundant of all sea turtles found in the world. Yes, this is right. The grouping of male turtles in sea is called as Arivada. Now this is not all the grouping of male turtles. It is the nesting area is called as Arivada. Where the next they nest their, their eggs. They lay their eggs in the beaches. That is called as Arivada. So second statement is wrong. The Odisha coast there are three Arivada beaches. That is Gohanabhaimatha. The mouth of the Devi river and Rosikulya. About one lakh nests are found on the beaches. So one and three options are right with respect to the only rivulet sea turtles, right? The smallest and most abundant of all sea turtles found in the world. And Odisha coast has three Aribada beaches at Gaurimatha, the mouth of the Devi River, and in Rusikulya, where about one lakh nests are found on the right? The nesting sites are called as Aribada. The time period of 90 days for a term loan to be classified as NPA. Yes. NPA means if you are not paying a loan for 90 days. After true cop season, an unpaid short duration farm loan will be termed as NPA. In case, in case of crop seasons, if you are 
the farm loan is not paid, unpaid up for true compensations that will be thrown as NPA. Non-performing asset, right? Now we have bankruptcy in IBC, that is Insolvency and Bankruptcy Code of 2016, that is working significantly in, in the dimension of tackling the issues of NPA in banks. Okay, next. Which of the following statements as uh, statements regarding Ram Setu is incorrect? Which of the following statements regarding Ram Setu is incorrect? It is an underwater chain of natural lives, limestone souls. It separates the Gulf of Mana in the, the north of the Park Strait in the south. Uh, it separates. No, it's, the next Setu Samudram Sea Channel Project, SSCP, is proposed. Channel to link the Park Strait and Gulf of Manga. Historically and geographically, evidences show that until 1480, Ram Setu was above the sea. Until 1480, Ram Setu was above the sea level. So, the following is incorrect. This B is incorrect because it joins, it joins the Gulf of Mana and the Park Strait in the south. Consider the following statement. December 2022, India has announced its first national suicide prevention strategy. It seeks to achieve reduction in suicide mortality by 30% by 2030. India has announced its first national social prevention strategy. It seeks to reduction social mortality 30 by 30 percent. Yes, we have now social prevention strategy. For example, government has uh, start, government has started a new project that is, uh, for example, Tani Manas for mental health, uh, for mental health issues for mental health uh, to counter the mental health. Uh, of the citizens, government has started daily manas. Daily manas means manas, M A N A S, that is mental health assistance, mental health assistance and networking across the states, right? Across the states. By this daily manas. You can call to the telemas and uh, can talk to the can talk about the mental problems. This especially it is one of the uh, to reduce su suicide uh, suicide attempt, especially or any such type of mental problems that drives you for suicide. Uh, recently, recently, another thing is that it is announced it is a problem of mental health. Society is considered as a problem of mental health in the correct tension, excessive tension in personal life. India has announced first national suicide social prevention strategy. It seeks to achieve reduction in social mortality by 30 percent by 2030. No, this is not 30 percent, this is by 10 percent. Right? Object is to, to reduce the suicide mortality by 10 percent. Okay. According to national social prevention strategy. Egypt hosted 27th session conference of the parties in UNFCC 27. Yes, the theme of the achieving the world's collective climate zone. What is the theme of uh, the COP 27 that is getting going object that, that is now getting organized in the in Egypt, right? Con COP 27 means conference of parties. Yes. The is achieving the world's collective climate goals. This was the theme of COP27 that is getting organized in Egypt. When is the COP21 COP was important? That is the Paris Climate Deal. For Paris Climate Deal, that is according to 2020, that is, that is according to 2015 or COP21. Then last year is Glasgow Summit. 
and Glasgow Summit. Glasgow Summit it occurred in 2000. Uh, it came in total, last year, that is 2021. Right? Glasgow Summit it occurred in Scotland, where India has promised one chance, that is uh, creating a 450 gigawatt of renewable energy by 2000. Uh, um, by 2014, creating a 450 watt of renewable energy and, and achieving the net carbon neutrality by 2070. That is what we call as Glasgow um, Summit. Concerning the following statements, nine degree channel separates the Andaman Islands and Nicobar Islands from each other. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands are submerged under the Arakan Andaman and Nicobar Islands are submerged under the Arakan Yuma mountain range. Right? Which is the following statement? Are correct, right? With the following statements are correct. 9 degree channel that is between yes. <coughs> now that is between uh, that's uh, separates another one Nicole, which is wrong. Right? 9 degree channel do not separate another one and Nicole. That is in Lakshadi, right? 9 degree channel. That separates the mini koi and the Lakshadis. Yeah. So 10 degree channel separates another one and Nicole. Next second statement is right. That is Andaman That is Andaman Nicolod Islands are submerged parts of Arakan Yuma mountain ridge right. It is actually 10 degree channel that separates 10 degree channel that separates Andaman and Nicolod Islands And this is a submerged part of Arakan Yuma mountain ridge Arakan Yuma mountain ridge that are seen in the eastern part of the continent so, two only option is the right. Next question. Consider the following statements. Thumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Station, 1963, marked the beginning of India's space program. The space mission Okay. Space mission and DOS was established in 1972. Become survive laid the foundation of ISRO. Which of the following statements are correct? Thumba Equatorial Rocket Launching Session 1963. It is from the beginning of India's space program. It is right. Space station and DOS was established in uh, 1972 and become survive space center. That's why that is the foundation of ISRO. So one to three of the statements are correct. It is the largest living cat species. Which is the which of the uh, regarding Bengal tiger? It is the largest living cat species. Cat species means you can forget, you can also say that these uh, tigers as cats, right? They are the as cat species. Yes, it is the question is correct or incorrect. It is correct. It is the largest living cat species, Royal Bengal tiger. It is found in the Sundarban. It is listed as critically endangered. Critically endangered in the Asian. Released. It is not critically endangered, right? It is endangered. Right? Royal Bengal tiger, it is endangered. India currently hosts the largest tiger population. Yes, India has like the largest tiger population, right? India has largest tiger population and it is not critically endangered, it is endangered. Critical and with very few species are present. So here one and three options are right. Hmm. 
Banks are required to classify non borrowing assets into which of the following? Standard assets, substandard assets, doubtful assets, and bad debt. Doubtful assets, bad debts, and loss assets. Substandard assets, doubtful assets, and loss assets. Required to classify non borrowing assets into which of the following things? Banks, these substandard assets, doubtful assets, and loss assets. Then classify the non performing assets into these four types substandard assets, doubtful assets, and loss assets. Now we'll discuss the prelims facts. Okay. Then air sudha. What is air sudha? Passengers are travelling to India. No one has to fill the forms and upload negative artificial taste of the government in air sudha portal. No longer it is required. Why it is no longer required? You don't need require any any more to upload the negative artificial tests in the government air sudha portal. Why it was required? It was required. This was launched in August 2022. Through which interest of passengers had to mandatorily submit details of their journey in COVID vaccination and testing status because the COVID was extremely severe at that time. So many people are dying, that's why you have to mandatorily post your negative artificial report in the uh, in the in the ARC with a requirement. The pre-arrival and self-registration portal was enabled, enabled pre-arrival of self-registration, right? To ascertain whether a person was arriving from high risk region or not. When the number of international passengers started to increase after the lift, after India lifted its two-year ban on regular international flights, the travel requirement has seen an impediment by many. Has seen as an impediment by many. It becomes a difficult, right? It is always a difficult task to always make. If you want to travel outside, you will you have to post your artificial details. That is a very difficult task. The operation of Air Suda in the uh, is the last COVID restrictions to go, right? Otherwise, there is no such COVID restrictions. Uh, now, the abolition of Ayasovida, that means it is completely resting. There is no such restrictions at present. Development of Great Nicobar. Development of Development of Great Nicobar. Recently, Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change gave environmental clearance for the ambitious 72,000 crore development projects. Development projects, strategically important, Great Nicobar. Ministry of Environment has given this. This will be implemented in three phases in over next 30 years. Three phases. The Greenfield City has been proposed, including an international container trans. Uh, Transit net terminal, right? Transit net terminal and Greenfield International Airport, a power plant and a township for the personnel who will implement the project. So this is this is environment, this is the 70,000 crore development project. It is given to Great Nicobar Island, and that is project project in duration will be 30 years, and there will be a city, there will be a International Continental Transport Terminal, Greenfield International Airport. Greenfield means a new airport. Brownfield means existing airport. You are demoting it. Greenfield means it's a new, it's a new airport, right? International airport. There will be power plant for self-sufficiency in power, and there will be township for personnel who will implement the project. This is the is a part of the new project. Okay. Great Nicobar, the southernmost of the Andaman and Nicobar Islands has an area of 910 square kilometer. 910 square kilometer. Andaman and Nicobar Islands are clustered about 836 islands. 
in eastern bay of bengal the two groups are separated by 150 km wide 10 degree channel andaman islands lie to the north of the channel and nicobar islands to the south indra point is the southern most unknown in the nicobar island area and it is the eight there is in the eight 36 island in the eastern bay of bengal in total andaman nicobar islands they are separated by 150 km 10 degree channel 10 degree channel that separates the unknown andaman and nicobar islands islands lie to north of the islands lie to the unknown are lie to the north of the channel and nicobar lie, lies to the south of the channel okay Indra point is the southern tip of the Great Nicobar Island, India's southernmost point, less than one hundred kilometers from the northernmost island of the Indonesian archipelago. The Great Nicobar is home to two national parks, Biosphere Reserve and and the Sompen and Nicobaris Tribal Zone. There are Nicobaris and Sompen Tribal. Sompen Tribal Zone that are there in Nicobar. The leatherback sea turtle is an island's classic species. Leatherback sea turtle is the island's classic species. Leatherback sea turtle is the island's classic species. The scope of terror financing has expanded to the development of emerging technologies. discuss some measures taken by india to eliminate such violence also suggest some other measures to effectively tackle and counter the terror financing issues question is regarding terror finance right terror finance is one of the biggest problem regarding finance if you if you want to counter the counter terrorism one of the biggest threat is to counter the financing but at present time it has become extremely difficult the scope of terror financing has expanded the development of emerging technologies how it is we have to mention how it is being expanded and what are those emerging technologies due to some measures taken by india to eliminate such menaces discuss some measures what are the measures we have taken and suggest some other measures what are the other measures that can be taken so first what is the scope of terror financing how it is expanded it is expanded at present by how for example to the currency cryptocurrency the biggest problem of cryptocurrency is that it is biggest problem of cryptocurrency is that it is it is highly anonymous nobody can know what is uh, no, it is highly anonymous means uh, nobody can identify the who is sent money to whom right and the existing technologies like blockchain technology with end to end encryption to ensure privacy for example technology like darknet for communication and use uh, and propagation of islamic and uh, terrorism ideas these things have facilitated the terror 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 funding right okay terror financing is the provision of funds providing financial support to the individual terrorists or non state actors individual terrorists to come to individual terrorists to start a operation like right? that is how it will make terror funding Terrorists use this financing as to purchase arms, equipments, supplies, and services. Terror funds, terrorism funds are usually obtained through criminal activities such as drugs and drug trafficking, extortion, kidnapping, all these things. Right? Terrorists earn money by drug trafficking, or arms trafficking, or extortion, or kidnapping. and they use that money in terrorist activities however the recent development in emerging technologies such as blockchain 5g technology artificial intelligence has widened the scope of terror financing blockchain technology means the application of cryptocurrency 
5G technology, artificial intelligence, all these things, they has widened the scope of terror financing, which threatens the national security and sovereignty. Terror financing and emerging technologies. Right. What is the emerging technology like blockchain technology and artificial intelligence? Right. And family technology. Increase in use of cryptocurrencies. Ethereum, non fungible tokens, NFTs, this can be also transacted, which are highly um, encrypted. For extorting money which runs from blockchain technology. So, blockchain technology is the biggest problem with to terror, uh, terror funding because there is no regulating authority in the blockchain technology. There is nobody who can tell you the source of that money and who is getting it. Right? Easily accessibility to the dark web. No third party can know the transactions. Dark web, or that is what we have called as dark net. Easily, you can communicate through dark net, you can propagate your ideas, the videos, the lectures on the dark net. If you, you will send money through the to the cryptocurrencies. Due to evolution of 5G technology, this dark web become accessible, which is highly, highly password, that is password secret web also. Dark web are some website which are very highly encrypted and uh, highly secure. No third party or law enforcement agencies, they can, uh, they can go through or they can, no, no third party will go into information. Dark will be used by terrorists, measurely for purchasing arms and ammunition. Yes. All the deals they happen in Tanda Arms. Undertaking cyber attacks such as social media frauds, ransom attacks, banking frauds, all these things are happening. By, by that they earn money, right? Ransom by, by yes, various types of um, by stealing the data, by selling the data, social media fraud, by taking money by financial frauds, banking frauds. Measures taken by India to counter terror financing. Strengthening the provisions of the unlawful activities of 1967 to combat terror financing by criminalizing the production or smuggling or circulation of high quality counterfeit Indian currency. High quality counterfeit Indian currency as a terrorist and enlarge the scope of proceeds of terrorism, including the property intended to be used in the, for the terrorism. Include any property intended to be used for terrorism, high quality counterfeit Indian currency. There is also counterfeiting the Indian currency, right? Fake notes, that is creating the fake notes, right? And that uses property intended to be used in terrorism. So, that fake notes are basically used for terrorist purposes. A terror funding and fake foreign currency sale has constituted a national investigation agency. To conduct proposed investigation of terror funding and fake currency cases. Right. So there is what are the measures? A terror funding fake currency sale has been constituted by NIT. To stop terror funding. FICN coordination group, this uh, terror funding in fake currency, FICN coordinator groups, uh, F, um, FO, F, FCORD has been formed by the Ministry of Home Affairs. Ministry of Home Affairs, because all these things are coming out of Ministry of Home Affairs, to share intelligence information among the secret agencies of the states to counter the problem of circulation of fake currency notes. Fake Indian currency notes, FICN. Network is a channel of terror financing in India. Fake Indian currency notes. 
So fake currency, that's a channel for terror financing and they regulate their activities by these fake currencies. Strengthening regional cooperation, for example, Memorandum of Understanding MOU has been signed between India and Bangladesh to prevent to prevent and counter smuggling circulation of fake currencies. So there is memorandum MOU was signed between India and Bangladesh to, to counter the fake currency smuggling. Strengthening international coordination. For example, India has recently hosted United Nations. Yes, India hosted even counter terrorism committee cities, even hosted even counter. That is, it and no money for terror conference. India has posted no money for terror conference. So, these are the steps that are taken by the government of India to control the terror financing. That is, uh, a terror funding fake currency is held, and there is a FICN coordinated group, a one minister of home affairs, then there is MOU with Bangladesh, then there is United Nations Counter Terrorism Committee, and no money for terror conference. <laughs> What are the other measures required? Capacity building. Other measures required are capacity building. Capacity building means training. Capacity building. Indian cyber surveillance institution needs to be equipped with better modern tools, equipped along with skill training and workforce to deal with the emerging challenges. That is capacity building. Building resilient infrastructure, strengthening the resilient IT infrastructure is empowered to ensure cyber security, safety from cyber attacks such as banking threats. Building resilient infrastructure, strengthening IT infrastructure, you know, that is, yes, safety from cyber attacks such as banking threats. Next, enhancing international co co cooperation. India should take initiative in discussing issue of terror financing and emerging technology in platforms like FATF meeting and UNG assembly. So, what we should do? Capacity building, training, training on the that is training on data scientists or uh, to skill training to for work first to work against such building resilient infrastructure, strengthening. Resilient IT infrastructure is imperative. We need to development of infrastructure. We need investment in infrastructure to counter to counter the cyber terrorism. Enhancing international cooperation. Yes, because terror funding is such a thing which cannot be done by a single country by country. We need cooperation from different uh, international organizations, for example, FATF. They will provide with crucial uh, crucial information with respect to terror funding. Education awareness, sensitizing public on matter related to terror financing will increase the awareness and reduce the vulnerability of becoming victims of extortion or kidnapping. Extortion or kidnapping or terror finance or these financial frauds or all these things will be awareness. Not trusting the unknown source is the best thing. Not trusting a message, not trusting anybody. Counter countering terror funding has been emphasized both domestically and internationally by India to eliminate this menace. Through it is progressing to call such issues which further need standard standard through the aforementioned measures. This is critical to ensure the national security and sovereignty of the country. Right. We need to uh, counter this type of funding to save our sovereignty and national security.
Let's study about ground sattu. Do CSR National Environmental Engineering Research Institute, CSR Niri, ruled out any serious environmental risk and certified the feasibility of the project. Concerns have been raised for stability of the proposed channel and its environmental impact. What is the environmental impact of the Ram Sattu? November 10, the Supreme Court, in November 10, the Supreme Court gave the center four weeks time to file a response clarifying its stand on the plea by former Rajasthan and Mukesh Mami seeking national heritage status for the Ram Sattu. Right? Suramanyam Swami was asking for national heritage status for the Ram Sattu. For the story of controversial Situ Samudran Sip Channel project, SSCP can be traced back to the Vedis. Who proposed creating a channel to link the park state with the Gulf of Kona? It was only in 2005 that the project was inaugurated. Separating the Swallow Sea consisting of Gulf of Kona in the south and Park Bay in the north. Park Bay in the north and Gulf of Kona in the south. This separates, there is a shallow sea and that is, uh, is somewhat linear coral ridge called as Adam's Ridge. That is called as Adam's Ridge or Ram Sethu. This surrounds between Rameshwaram Tamil Nadu and Rameshwaram Tamil Nadu in the Sri Lanka. So in north there is Parks Parkway, in south there is Gulf of Manar and that are connected by Adam Series or Ram Sethu. The SSC is if competent is expected to considerably reduce the navigation time between east and west coast of India. If the SSCP is completed, that will reduce the navigation time between the east and west coast of India. SSCP means that is Setu Samutra Sea Channel Project. Now, what are the what are the issues with respect to it? Concerns about the project. The CSI Navy has serious environmental risk. It may have serious environmental risk or climate change. The certified feasibility of the project and certified feasibility of the project, concerns have been raised on the stability of the proposed channel and its environmental impact. What is the stability of the proposed channel? What is the economic stability rate of the proposed channel that and the environmental impact as well? Computer models suggest that the central eastern and north eastern parts of the park bay may be impacted by the waves of higher energy. It means that there are, these are the areas that receive more sediment rendering and more turbid. The models also indicate that waves enter the bay from its north and south, corresponding how the cha channel is aligned. So obviously that will impact the Bay and that waves will enter the bay from north and south. Right. So that may create a problem, environmental problem. Area is also vulnerable to cyclonic storms. Many times now, nowadays those cyclonic storms have increased in the Bay of Bengal and Arman Sea as well because of the climate change. So that is also vulnerable, vulnerable to climate storms. A cyclone in 1964 is so powerful that it wiped out the town of Dhanuskodi. Such so storms can cause the local sedimentary dynamics to go haywire. Finding safe places for dumping dredged material without harming terrestrial or marine ecosystem is therefore a big challenge. Finding safe places for dumping without harming the terrestrial marine that is also the channel. That's why there are many challenges, for example, many challenges, for example, vulnerable to cyclonic storms.
so storms can cause local sedimentary dynamics to go uh, to go higher so so this sedimentary challenges can also happen the dumping of the dredge material that is also a problem that may happen the terrestrial marine ecosystem because if a product if a big project uh, uh, i mean occurs then that will create many environmental vulnerabilities as well emissions from seas traverse in the narrow channel will also pollute the air yes when seas goes that will pollute the air and the water if a rock ship carrying oil and coal is grounded or strays from its course within the canal it could be an ecological disaster any ship or oil grounded or strays in the course of the canal within the canal that will be ecological disaster because that will lead to oil spill and those regions are very wide open this region with gulf of manar it is full of phytoplanktons and zooplanktons there is also sea cow sea cow that is also a marine sanctuary so development of all these projects will lead to serious disasters in those areas while environmental groups have been protesting against the project for the reduced environmental cost it will entail religious groups have been opposing is are the belief that the structure which mentioned ramayana is also religious significance right so both are opposing with this to ramayana and um, there 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 will be there will be economic benefits but the fact is that there will be environmental cost and there, there are some religious uh, links to the to the hindus in target this space this investigation in the satellite remote imaged by researchers at space application center all over concluded that ram satu is not man made but comprises 103 small patches of reefs lying on a linear linear pattern with reef crest sand crest and intermittent deep channels He is also known as the Keys refer to low elevation island situated on the Keys means low elevation island situated on the surface made coral reef. Thus, it is reasonable to assume that Ramsar is a linear reef made of coral reefs and forms shallow part of the ocean. Ocean that is being constantly impacted by the sedimentary sedimentation processes. As a great barrier reef, the Ramsar is also continues to stretch of limestone source that runs from. Uh, the Pomban Island to the Rameshwaram and to the Gulf of Malaya in the north coast of Sri Lanka. So, what it is found that it is not man-made. It is uh, especially it is um, by it is a coral full of coral. It is a low elevation islands and that is made up of coral reefs like the Great Barrier Reefs. So, this is about Rameshwaram. Okay, so today's lectures end here, and like this video and share and subscribe to my guys. Thank you. Part of means is part of means financial action task force. The headquarters is Paris, and uh, that especially count on the telecom. That especially. Uh, works for counter terrorism and especially to cover the financial terrorism and financial aspect of terrorism that is money laundering or terror financing financial action task force is a international body headquartered in paris and france it declares it keeps countries in gray list and gray list and black list gray list means those who are terror active in terror financing black list means those who are completely providing safe haven to Terror financing. Pakistan was in blacklist, grey list. Now it is came out of worst list recently because it was funding terrors. Okay. So the lectures ends here. Like and share this video. Thank you.